1876, widower Jane Ross Reeves, a descendant of America's beloved Betsy Ross, happened upon blueprints in a magazine advertising for an octagonal home. It promised health benefits from better air circulation and plenty of room for her 12 children. She knew she had to have one, and so she tucked away silver dollars until she had saved enough money, $2,300 worth, to begin construction at her farm in Willow Branch, Indiana. The home was completed in 1879, but as the generations passed and the farm changed hands, the house was abandoned, left to deteriorate until its inevitable destruction. Our uh, president at the time was Daryl Deck, and he was in a meeting in Greenville, and he overheard that the house was to be burnt. They'd already contacted the Greenville Fire Department. And so Daryl, he wanted to go look at this house and see, because he knew it was a historical home. And he just absolutely loved the way the house was, was designed and the original pictures that he saw. He just fell in love with it. Daryl raced back to his hometown of Shirley, where he called an emergency meeting among friends. He hoped that when they saw the house, they would want to save it too. And when I seen it, I thought, why does anybody want that thing? And we went in it. Now there's raising hogs in it and cattle, and it had coons in it. It was a mess. And so we walked through it, and I said, Daryl, it cost a fortune to fix that place and I'm not sure you could pick it up. I said, it's terrible. Oh, Don, Daryl was optimistic. Oh, Don, we can do that. He said, we gotta get a group together. Eventually, the two retirees rounded up an additional five friends, including Virginia's husband, Lemoyne Harrell. Together, the men purchased the home and began preparations to move it to its new location, the old railroad switchyard in Shirley, Indiana. Finally, in 1997, with the help of Indiana Landmarks, the team carefully maneuvered the home nine miles through farmer's fields and down State Road 234 on its journey to Shirley, where the seven retirees worked day and night to restore the old farmhouse. We was all friends. We knew each other forever. And we just worked together good. We never argued about nothing that I knew of. And we'd just have a really good time getting together, and then we'd come to, what are we going to do next? And kind of lay out something to do, but it was hard because of money. To pay the bills, the men chopped and sold firewood in the community. Virginia eventually joined the crew to help find grants for various projects. The missing staircase was rebuilt, the gingerbread banister restored, the holes in the horsehair plaster walls were patched, the original floors sanded and stained. And over 20 years, the house came alive once more. They just kept plugging along till they got it to this point. It's taken 20 years, but they got it here. And it's, it's pretty much uh, restored, except for uh, a few things now that needs to be taken care of. But I, I, never thought that, I never thought it would ever look like this. Not really. Today, the home is on the National Register of Historic Places. And it's no wonder. Of the 2,000 octagonal homes built, only five remain in Indiana, and the Jane Ross Reeves home is the only one to not have been altered. But community members have sponsored the restoration of the rooms back to their previous state, guided by the recollection of Jane's grandchildren and the determination of the men. Sadly, only three remain today. But their work continues, and visitors can see them at the house as always. It has a wonderful atmosphere. Being in this home is a pleasant place to be. And I've been in it all the time since 94. It, it's been a joy, it's not a problem, it's not hard. It's not like it, I'm taking time out of my day to be here today. I'm here because I love it. It's a gathering place for the entire community now. It brings people to Shirley. Uh, they know where we're at now. We were trying to preserve the history for the future generation that they can come and take tours. They can see what life was like in 1879. Each month, the group hosts a chicken noodle dinner, and each December, hundreds visit the home for its annual Christmas tree display. 
It's all a part of the group's desire to create new memories of friends and family and the Jane Ross Reeves home once more. Every day it looks more beautiful to me. I can see the love that these men have put into it and, and the love that I put into it. <laughs>